With the in-feed inspection station, all the precast features are inspected. The part is first loaded by the operator onto the feed conveyor. After the part is passed through the guard system, the part is raised up off the conveyor where 71 features are inspected. If the part is rejected, the Motoman Robot Arm 1 will take the part to a rejected bin which will require badge scan to access. The part is being inspected by ThruBeam PhotoEyes. Once the part has successfully passed through inspection, it will then be taken by the Motoman Robot Arm 1 and loaded and clamped into Drill Station 1. In Drill Station 1, the overhead platen extends over the part, coolant turns on, lubricates the part, and the drills extend, drilling 27 holes in addition to tapping two holes. Once the part is drilled in Station 1, Robot 1 transfers the part to Drill Station 2. In Station 2, an additional 13 holes are drilled into the part, and the drill bits are raised and rechecked for presence. Once the part is placed into Drill Station 3, it is clamped and the final 14 holes are drilled into the part. After the drilling is complete, the Robot Arm 2 removes the completed part from the drill cell into an outfeed conveyor at the customer's facility. Some of the key features of the drill cell is that it contains an Allen Bradley control system, Moto Man robot arms, an Allen Bradley guard Logix Ethernet safety, G3 pneumatic valves with a remote I.O. Ethernet, a Barnes coolant and chip removal system, Sunner cable drive drills, BK micro tool checks, and a fully self-contained hydraulic system. Some of the other useful features of the drill cell is that a part can be ran in a 30 second cycle time. Each station runs independent from the robots if needed, and light curtains are utilized for safety of the operator.